This is Cut to the Chase Chemistry, and I'm going to show you how to solve a limiting reactant problem in under five minutes. So we have a balanced equation here. It must be balanced. You should check that. And we're told that we have 20 grams of aluminum and 60 grams of Cl2 to react. So I'm going to take a moment to rewrite this equation. This will pay off in the end. Good investment of time. And I'm going to then note that I have 20.0 grams of aluminum, 60.0 grams of Cl2. And I want to know not only the limiting reagent, but how much of this product could I potentially form? So the first thing you absolutely must do is to take your reactant quantities and convert them to moles. So we have 20.0 grams of aluminum. And we're going to say, OK, I have one mole of Al per 26.91 gram of Al. So grams are going to cancel. And this is going to give us the mole quantity 0.741 mole of Al. Next up is chlorine, chlorine gas. Chlorine gas is a diatomic molecule. So we have to use that molar mass, one mole of Cl2 per 70.91 grams of Cl2. Again, grams cancel. We're left with moles of Cl2, which is 0 0.846 mole of Cl2. Note we are absolutely not done yet because in each case we want to know how much product can be formed. So we're going to need the mole to mole ratio. In the case of aluminum, this is a two moles of aluminum produce two moles of product. So we have times two mole Al Cl3 are produced for every two mole Al that are put in. Notice again, things cancel nicely here, and we end up with the molar quantity of our product, which is the same number as we started with, 0 0.741 mole, but this time we know it's our product AlCl3. Okay, so now we're going to do this again, except this time we're going to do it with chlorine. And we're going to notice that we put in three moles of chlorine, we get out two moles of our product. So now it's times two mole AlCl3 over three mole Cl2. So essentially what we're doing here is we're multiplying our moles of Cl2 by two thirds. Again, moles of Cl2 are gonna cancel and we're gonna get the amount of product that could be formed in this case. So this is in fact 0 0.564 mole of AlCl3. So what I would call the golden rule of the limiting reagent problem is that whichever reactant produces the lesser amount of product is the limiting reagent. So our 60 grams of Cl2 will produce 0 0.564 moles of AlCl3. After that, Cl2 is run out. We can't make any more product. Okay, so now to address the final part of this question, which is how much aluminum chloride can theoretically be formed, we simply take the 0 0.564 moles of aluminum chloride. My stylus is getting tired here, it's slowing down a little. AlCl3, and we multiply by the molar mass of AlCl3. This happens to be 133.34 grams of AlCl3 per mole of Al3. 
Cl3. And guess what? We end up with 75.2 grams of AlCl3. Okay, that took 5 minutes and 15 seconds, but close enough.